So I just did the coolest thing. I made these edible spears. Can you try to guess what flavors they are? Is that chocolate? Yeah, with a little bit of coconut too. So good. Is that soy sauce? Yes. Oh my God. Whoa, <laughs> what is that? Is this hot sauce? Yes. <laughs> ah! Today's activity is from our new website, atkkids.com. We have everything from recipes for guacamole and homemade sprinkles to science experiments and super fun trivia. Head over to atkkids.com to check this activity out and let us know what you think in the comments. Hey, I'm Chrissy, and today we're spearifying. Spearification is a super cool technique that turns liquid into solid spears. Get it? Spearification? Chefs use spearification to add color, texture, flavor, and a little bit of surprise to their dishes. And now you can too. There are a bunch of spearification techniques that use different ingredients or chemicals. Today, we're gonna show you one technique that uses ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. This kind of spearification is like a super sped up version of making jello. When you make jello, you add hot water to the <coughs> jello powder. This powder contains a very important ingredient, gelatin. Once the powder is dissolved, you put the liquid jello in the fridge for a few hours and voila, it's a solid. The same thing's happening here. And today we're spearifying pomegranate juice. Let's get started. As always, prepare your ingredients and gather your equipment beforehand. First, get your vegetable oil into a container and get it cold. Don't use olive oil. It'll turn solid when it gets cold and you don't want that. Cold oil helps form rounder spears. Put it in the fridge overnight and that'll do the trick. Sprinkle the gelatin over a small amount of water and mix it really well. This will help prevent lumps later on. Then heat up your pomegranate juice. Just a quick 30 to 45 seconds in the microwave. It should be steaming, not boiling. Pour the pomegranate juice onto your gelatin and whisk it so it has no lumps. That's looking good. Carefully pour into your squeeze bottle. It's ice bath time. Grab your cold oil out of the fridge and put it in a large bowl, but keep the lid on for now. I have a bowl of ice here and I'm gonna mix in some salt. This helps keep the temperature of the ice bath even colder. Work your ice around the container like this. Pour in some water around the container. And now we're ready to spearify. Gently squeeze the bottle over the surface of the oil. How cute are they? If you want larger spheres, drip a few drops in the same spot. If your spheres are all different sizes, don't worry about it, that's totally normal. Here's a pro tip. If your gelatin mixture gets too hard to squeeze, just warm it up. Heat the bottle in the microwave for about five seconds. Run the cap under hot water and use a toothpick to get out any stubborn bits. Good as new. Keep making your spheres until you run out of liquid. Once you're done, take your oil out of your ice bath and carefully pour it through your fine mesh strainer. Then get your spheres into a bowl of cold water and swish them around to get rid of the excess oil. And now your spheres are ready to be served. Let's try some spheres. Amazing. Thanks for watching. Scroll down the page and try spearifying your own liquids. Are you gonna make lemon, orange, maple syrup, tea, vinegar? Your options are endless. If your liquids taste good, then your spears will taste good. And don't forget to make it your way. Thanks for watching. Go to atkkids.com to try these new spearification techniques at home. And check out atkkids.com for more recipes and fun activities with new ones posted every week.